welcome back to my channel. It's me. And guys, today I am super excited because today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a singular Roblox GFX with a transparent background so you can add them to your thumbnails. So I have decided that over this next two weeks, I'm going to be uploading less but showing you guys how I do, you know, some of my little edits thumbnails, GFX, and much more because I have been comments about asking about this and, you know, I just feel like this was the right time. So, let's get started and hopefully, maybe, you'll learn how to make a GFX. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the blender that I use. This is Blender 2.79B. I had to check. The link for it will be in the description and I'll show you how to download it. Here's the blender right here and what you're going to want to do if is you're on a Mac is you're going to want to go to Blender 2.79A and then DMG. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to create and you're going to want to go to create new game and a classic base play. Press create game. Go to edit. So now you're going to want to go to plugins and go to the load character plugin. If you don't have it, what you're going to want to do is change models to plugins and go to load character. It might already be there. Since I have it, it'll say installed, but you will just want to install it. Now go to plugins and press this load character. It will show my character and I'll want to spawn it but you have to spawn it at, but you have to spawn it at R6. As you can see here, I physically gave up on trying to load my friends, things, characters, because it took, like, I don't know what was wrong, but I, I have Megan plays here, so you know what, that's cool. So then you're going to want to go to your character and press export selection. Just press discard so nothing saves. Now you're going to want to open up and load Blender. Now that you have opened Blender, it'll look like this. You're going to want to click anywhere on the screen to remove this page. Now you're going to see a solo block. You're going to want to press X and enter to delete. Go up to file, open, and open up your Roblox Women rig. Use shift F to open this thing so that you can move around. You can move around with the arrow keys and WASD. Now I'm going to want to delete the head. To select multiple things to delete or just to select, press shift. Now that you have deleted the head, you're going to want to press anywhere on the body. I like to press the torso. Press node editor, go to image texture, go to the file, and pick your texture. Once you have done that, go back to 3D view and it will bring you back to your GFX. Now you're going to want to go on this circle thing and go to material. Now you're going to want to go to file, import wavefront obg, and import the name of your character obg. Now it will load. Go to this rotate tool, rotate it using the blue line, go back to this and move your character. Now you're going to want to delete everything except the head. Now that you only have the head left, what you're going to want to do is hold shift and press all the components on your head. Once you have done that, go up to tools and go to join and then go and make sure it fits on the body. Once you have done that, you are ready to pose. Go to this rotate tool and click on any one of these and start posing your character. going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the world icon and press ambient occlusion. This will add light, the perfect amount of lighting to your GFX so it's not too light but it's not too dark. Now you're going to want to go to this render layer. It looks like two pictures stacked up on top of each other. Go down to the bottom and click denoising. This will make your Roblox GFX not grainy and make it look perfect. Now you're going to want to go to the camera icon. Go down to here where it says FFMPENEG video. 
you're going to want to change that to a PNG and change RGB to RGBA so that the background can be transparent. The last thing that you're going to want to do is click the transparent button so that your background is transparent. Now you can go back to object mode, press add, press camera, and it'll spawn a camera. Go to view camera, press shift F to move the camera. You can also change the side of your GFX by changing the resolution. If I wanted it a rectangle, I'd do 1000 by 1000. Once you're happy with, now that you have done all that, you're going to want to go to this circle symbol and press rendered. This will give you a pretty good idea how it will look like in the finished product without the grain if you click denoise it. If you like the lighting and like how it looks, go to the camera icon, exit out of the rendered, and go to this camera icon and press render. took about 2 minutes and 13 seconds to render. Go to image and press save as image. I like to save mine to my desktop so it's easy access. You can keep it named untitled or you can name it to whatever you want. Once you have named it, press save as image. I like to minus it and make sure it is on my desktop before I quit Blender. Press the red X button and press quit anyways. Now when you are on your desktop, you will see that it has a white background. This means it's transparent. And that is how to make a transparent Roblox GFX for your YouTube thumbnails. Coming soon is how to make a proper one with the background. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel because it's free. And once you're subscribed, make sure to turn on all those post notifications so you'll never miss another one of my videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.